Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an all day wear test on this Dermacol. I actually saw this on Tati's channel maybe a week or two ago and I was highly interested. Actually, it would have been a lot longer than a week or two ago. Let's not be honest or let us be honest. Anyhow, it's been an early morning. Um, I'm going to do an all day wear test and see how these work and perform. And so if you'd like to see how these do, stay tuned. This morning we're going to do a test or today we're going to do a test on the Stermacol. It was, um, featured in Tati's video on YouTube. So I wanted to see how this worked. It is a makeup cover, cover. Um, and it's supposed to be full coverage. So we're going to see how this tests out today. So I'm going to put this on and do my regular makeup. I'm going to go to work all day. And at the end of the day, we're going to see how this held up. So let's check it out. I got two different colors. And when you get the tube, it is already sealed. So you use the end. To pop that seal open. So let's see what two colors I have. So the two colors are pretty complementary of each other. So we'll use probably the lighter color to highlight and then the darker color to contour. Um, I'm just going to use my regular sponge for this and my sponge will be slightly damp. It's not the prettiest sponge, so don't judge. It is kind of thick. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's really thick. I mean, thick. And by the way, I had already prepped and primed my face, so um, I did not forget that step. So I use the lighter color kind of where everyone highlights. And then as you can see, I don't have a whole lot that I used for um, that coverage. So now again, you can kind of see how thick that is. We'll go in a little bit in the areas that I'm going to end up contouring or having a darker color. Okay, so as you saw, I had only used two little dabs, and um, that did cover my face very well as far as full coverage goes. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup routine, and we'll do a check-in in a little bit. Okay, it's the end of the day, so how did these little bad boys do? Um, as you remember, or just a few seconds ago, you saw that I hardly used any of the Dermacol on my face. Um, so this is what my face looks like at the end of the workday. I did not put any more powder on from the time that I left this morning. I did not touch it up with any blotting powder, any blotting papers. So what you see is literally a full work day. So I'm going to try to zoom in. So as you can see, the product kind of did a little cakey cakey look. Um, but really considering, not too bad. Um, a little bit, I must have touched my nose throughout the day. Um, so anyways, it really didn't do all that bad. What do I like about this? Well, I liked that I didn't have to use much for full coverage. That was exciting. Um, by end of day, as far as the wear goes, I don't think it was bad. 
considering also I didn't use much. The other thing that I didn't, or the one thing that I didn't like, I should say, is that it did transfer on my phone. So I did feel like today when I was talking on my cell phone, as soon as I'd hang up, I'd have to wipe off my cell phone. Um, I, in particular, look for foundations that do not transfer. So this Dermacol will transfer, so you would have to be careful for that. But again, it's a full coverage. You don't use very much, which is a plus. If you don't mind the transferring on your phone, etc., then this could be a great product for you. I know it looks tiny, but you use a tiny amount. Thank you so much for joining me today. I did enjoy trying this new Dermacol makeup cover, and it is a high coverage. You don't need much. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hurry, subscribe below or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day.